Here we go! My friends, one of the craziest things I've ever seen happen on a Nintendo console just took place on Pokemon Snap's Cave Stage, a Pokemon Snap photograph that virtually no one imagined was possible just happened. A maxed world record that pretty much everyone who played the game would have achieved very easily in their childhood was broken after 24 years. No nonsense, no ad, none of that today. Just buckle on up, baby, because we're going to get right into the story of how Pokemon Snap's greatest snapper, a Japanese man named Feketerigo, just broke muck. So, Muck was, until this historic moment, one of the simplest Pokémon to snap in the game. You could only get one Muck in your frame of picture, its best pose was only 1,000 points, and so with 1,000 size, plus 1,000 points, doubled for good technique, you get 4,000 points. A super straightforward, easily maxed Pokémon. Muck in particular would require you to take a snap of one of these Grimers earlier on in the level, which then spawns this later Grimer who is much closer to you. If you don't photograph the early Grimer, you don't get the later Grimer and thus can't evolve him into Muck, and the other Grimers are quite far away. To evolve Grimer into Muck, you just throw at least three Pester Balls at him in quick succession, which Grimer seems to like, and then he evolves into Muck. Now, you throw another Pester Ball, which Muck also seems to enjoy, unlike most other Pokémon, and that's his best pose. You take the picture while he reacts to getting hit, bingo bango, a thousand pose, combined with a thousand size instance, and there's your 4,000 point score. About 80 people have submitted this score to CyberScore, and it's just such a simple picture that I bet tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people, a large percentage of those who played the game, would have scored it whether they knew it was a maxed tied record or not. In fact, I'm almost certain that the developers of the game probably got 4,000 point mucks before Pokemon Snap was even released, so one could make the case that the 4,000 muck was the world record before the game even came out, back in 1999. Muck 4000 has been the record since time immemorial, since before record keeping itself. The 4,000 point muck pre-existed many Zoomers who might be watching this video today and was likely to exist well after we were all gone. My 4,000 muck photograph from my childhood looks like this. Yes, I somehow captured him appearing to give a middle finger, which is pretty silly. Just the kind of silly thing you appreciate when playing through video games as a young lad. The purple dust from the pester ball doesn't block out any size, nor lose any points, by the way, whereas an apple would do so, usually losing 10 or 20 points. We can see in my shot, Muck is directly facing towards me, whereas in some other 4000 scores, Muck is looking to the side. It doesn't really matter, since Muck's 1000 size is pretty forgiving and easy, and even more forgiving is Muck's pose. Muck is, thankfully, quite possibly the most forgiving Pokémon in the entire game pose-wise. You know, take a look at this Muck 4000 by gamer Koto, which shows Muck looking almost completely away, yet he still gets the 1000 pose. This was taken just at the moment Muck reacts to getting hit by the Pester Ball, his best pose, and Muck's pose forgiveness doesn't mind this deep in angle of look away. Many other Pokémon you'd get in trouble and not get the doubled score for good technique, or get a low's pose score if they were looking away this much, but not Muck. He's just that easy. So there's that. Koto is an interesting character when it comes to Muck as well, because Koto had been experimenting with some other Muck techniques a few years back, seeing if it were at all possible to find anything that might be able to improve the score perhaps somehow finding a way to get a bonus muck in the pitcher. But nothing had quite worked yet. But about that. You see, these early Grimers, you can evolve them into muck as well with three clean pester ball hits. This is actually pretty difficult to do. Like, the first Grimer is just so far away and takes some very accurate pester ball throws in order to hit thrice and evolve into muck. 
I tried it myself and was surprised at just how high skill this kind of thing is. It kind of reminded me of hitting a very far camera shot in Goldeneye. Of course, good N64 gamers can get good at these sorts of things, so the early Grimers are certainly evolvable into muck. However, they don't really wander over close enough for you to get a good picture with good size. You know, here I just tried to photograph one of these, and you can see it's just not very good. You know, the game's design sort of gets you to take a look at them, take a picture, and this spawns the later Grimer, whom you can use to snap up close or evolve into muck and snap as well. It's kind of classic game design intended to guide your progress through the stage. The earlier Grimers are simply almost a sort of MacGuffin, only there to help you along your journey. Or so we thought. Late on the night of January 12th, Feketirigo, who is the greatest Pokemon snapper and leading world record holder in the game, shared a picture which immediately blew my mind. It was a 4,000 point muck, but it was different. This muck was 970 size, 1,000 pose, doubled for good technique to 3940, and a 60 bonus points for having a second muck in the frame. Yes, that is right. After 24 years of Pokemon Snap, we were on the cusp of something massive. Something that Koto had explored years before, but never came to fruition. If you evolve the first Grimer immediately, and then evolve the later Grimer, and then slow yourself down for a bit using the right or left C back and forth mechanic, which is an integral mechanic in Snap high scores, then sometimes, rarely but sometimes, this initial muck's random wandering path, which is seemingly random, would get him to wander just far enough into the stage where a tiny slice of him would get picked up in the background of the main muck pitcher. Just enough to get a few tens of bonus points. Just enough to possibly break the 4,000 point world record. You can see the plateau on which Muck can wander. There's only this small, narrow isthmus that might be reasonably close enough to get him in the background of the main Muck. So yeah, it's not something that happens on every attempt. Rather, quite the contrary. But when you see something like this picture Feketirigo posted, you know what's about to go down. If Feketirigo were able to get a 980 main Muck size, or 70 points for the bonus Muck, this would break the 4,000 total score, thus breaking a deadlock, logjam, maxed world record, which had been held since the earliest days of the game itself. It really shows how a game's greatest player can often think outside the box, examining every element of a game, even the ones that are mostly left unseen by his fellow gamers. To realize that one could evolve these early Grimers into muck, and sometimes, just sometimes, even if it's 1% of the time or less, this muck might wander close enough on his little plateau that he could be captured in the background, it's just truly remarkable. A touch of gaming genius in its purest form. It's all much easier said than done. Hitting this first Grimer three times quickly with the Pester Ball is not easy at all. I undersold it earlier. I tried it myself for a bit, and these are just such massive arcing shots from so far away, it's pretty hard. And then there's still a stretch of believing into the unknown that comes with going for a new untied world record, whether it's a speedrun or a high score. You know, you don't have the advantage of knowing that what you're attempting is possible or not, and that can be frightening. It might not be possible. This metaphor might sound a bit silly to some, but it's kind of like exploring unmapped territory. You just don't know if you're going to find what you're looking for at all, or if it'll just be a huge waste of time and energy. And that's what makes grinding for a new untitled record with a new strategy such a mark of gaming brilliance and the self-belief in the ability to achieve what others have not. After some offline grinding, Feketirigo started up a live stream on YouTube, and about 30 minutes in, well, I think you know why you're here. He got a photograph that would go down in the history of Pokemon Snap. 
He's chilling in voice chat with a mate, and if you know Japanese and can translate any of what they're saying, I would love to hear a loose translation in the comments. あの、誰だ、ケイケイ。あれ、いないぞ、いないぞ。だいたい<笑><笑> ま、手が横になってる方だな気がするな。そう、今止まってる方。これは<笑><笑> It's just so truly remarkable. It just keeps happening, my friends. An ancient world record broken by a masterful gamer. You can just see if you really look close here. It looks like this slice of the pitcher is the bonus muck, giving him 70 extra muck bonus points, along with his 980 size, plus 1000 points, doubled to 3960, plus the 70 friend points, there's 4030. Absolutely amazing. Okay, I know you might be listening to me talking about this and thinking, you know, that's it, but to me, this is just such a shocking development. Such a ridiculous thing to see happen. I mean, Muck was a 4,000 pointer since the 90s. That literally might be longer than some viewers have been alive. I definitely got Muck 4,000 on my initial playthrough of the game back in the day. So did thousands of others. And yet after 24 years, and thanks to the dedication of a great gamer, a fervent and supportive community, and some genius knowledge of the game, some way, Somehow, a maxed world record has been broken. One that I would never have expected to have been broken. One of the least likely in the game to have been broken. I know this happens time and time again when it comes to N64 high scores and speedruns, but still, it never ceases to amaze me. And honestly, this is some of the most amazed I've ever been when it comes to someone breaking an ancient Nintendo 64 world record. If Muck 4000 can be broken, then perhaps this has massive implications for other seemingly maxed Pokemon throughout the rest of this game. Yes, Muck 4030 is beatable, and in fact, another gamer, Roundy, already did so with a 4040. It's possible that the score will climb up even a little further over the next little while. More people are likely to play themselves with the new strategy and notch a 4,000 plus point score. There might even be a way to get this other Grimer to evolve into Muck and get him involved somehow. Well, I kind of doubt that, it just doesn't seem like you have enough time to make it all happen, but who knows? 
For now, we celebrate the first ever over 4,000 point muck by Pokemon Snap legend Fekaterigo, further cementing his name and achievements into the game's lore. And for leading the way, showing what's possible in this game, and inspiring others like Roundy to keep pushing the game themselves after all these years. Well, my friends, that's the story of the over 4,000 point muck. Thanks for watching, my friends. And by the way, if you've made it this far and want to support the channel, the best thing you can do is to like the video, comment your thoughts, and make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you can always be sure to watch the next video. However, if you want to take this support a step further, you can check out my Patreon page, Speedlore, link in the description. I've just posted my first ever exclusive video there, what is the greatest boost in GoldenEye history, and I hope to post about one exclusive video monthly. Those will be super niche looks at content similar to what's already on this channel. So there's that for you to check out if you wish. Okay mates, thanks again, stay true my friends, and I'll see you in the next stream or video.